This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 18. This root canal was done about five years ago. According to the patient, the bridge is a newer bridge. Periopical lucency here. And as you can see, very short fill. Again, short fills don't mean anything. They start to become problematic. They become problematic when you leave necrotic tissue and bacteria behind. And on top of that, of course, you can see there is a missed canal there as well. So this dentist who did the root canal, not only did, did a lousy root canal, but also missed the canal, a complete canal, missed it completely, left necrotic tissue and bacteria behind. This patient was in severe pain, it was a lot of pain. So when, when he came to see me this morning, we went over options with the patient. The bridge is new. According to the patient, as I said, the, the root canal, I can't call this a root canal, whatever it is, it is five years old. So we discuss options with the patient. The patient said, I, I want to try to save this tooth. It is holding my bridge. I, I can't lose it. So I said, I'll do my best. I can't promise you. I can't guarantee that by redoing the root canal, the infection will go away. The chances are stacking your favor, but it's not 100%. As long as you know, I'm going to have to drill through your bridge. You may need a new bridge. Your bridge can crack while I'm drilling through it. So again, I go over all of this stuff with the patient. And the patient said, go ahead, do your best, and we'll see what happens. And here's the post-op. So went through the porcelain bridge, removed the buildup, and a little bit of ultrasonic removal of dentin. And lo and behold, I was able to locate the missed, the missed mesolingual canal. And look at this beauty. Went ahead, removed the gutter percha, of course, with uh, chloroform, hand files, it's all hand files. And take a look here, look at all of this anatomy that the dentist had missed. Nice lateral, right into the lesion there. Look at that bifurcation in the apical area of the distal canal there. And as I said, missed mesolingual canal that we were able to locate. Everything went beautifully, as you can see, went ahead and temporize the tooth and refer the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration. Let me put them next to each other, the pre-op and post-op. So you can compare and see um, the amount of anatomy that was missed in the original root canal. And here it is, pre-op and post-op. That's not called the root canal. This is called the root canal. Excellent.